Street walking is an important part of many urban informal communities on the continent. This kind of trade in Ghana is similar to what goes on in other developing countries. Hawkers stand on the street, some of whom carry goods in hand and some on head, from food to stationery, electrical gadgets to toilet paper, literally everything. Many of us die here. People die the first day they start. It all depends on your knowledge and experience on how to maneuver the traffic. For me, I know how to even go through two tracks, but others don't know how to do this, so they get knocked down. The big tracks have bad brakes, so when you see it approaching, you have to move away from it or else it will knock you down. The mundane of street hawking can be a dangerous and risky task. Anytime there's a traffic jam, they rush to vehicles and try to sell their goods to both drivers and passengers. What would be the biggest, what would be the biggest risk for you guys as you did the street talk? Cars knock people down every day here. I have seen a lot with my eyes. Sometimes we wake up to see some of our friends dead. I have seen a lot of pain. The motorbiders are the worst. Some really indicate their intent to make it down verbally and actually do it. Many cars also lose their brakes here, but it's only by God's grace we are alive. Even I have been knocked down before. We set out to find what brought our brothers and sisters to the streets and the dangers they face on the daily. Trading at home doesn't really move. I used to sell yam, condo, and charcoal, but many used to come to buy on credit, and it was always a struggle to get them to pay. It was not the best. I always had to look for money from elsewhere to reinvest in the stock. So I noticed that some people were selling on the street, and here there's no credit. It also doesn't require having a shop to start. All I need is a pan to carry the items I'm selling. So I started with selling pure water back then. So I started with selling pure water when it was 10 pesos and the bag was 2 cities. Sometimes I'll sell 10 bags at the end of the day and we'll make some profit. And then I realized the difference between selling from home and selling on the streets. This is all I used to take care of my three kids. Their dad is normal. So when I bring goods worth 300 CDs on average, I sell 200 CDs, save some, give some to my children, and spend some. So it's good. Here yeah, there's no credit. It's cash and carry. When I came to Accra looking for skilled training, they always asked me to bring my parents first. But you know that on the street, parents are not always available for us. I have parents alright, but I recognize that my home is already struggling enough, so I had to leave to reduce the pressure at home. When I was in my hometown, I was with a man, my boyfriend, we were not married. He fell sick for some time, so the money I had for my business was lost. The man also died. I had two kids by then and life was hard. So a friend of mine who was familiar with the trade introduced it to me. Said it was lucrative and I can join if I want. So I came and started selling sugar cane. I wasn't moving so I switched to selling water. Yes. 
I sell plantain, but when plantain is not in season, I sell water. Sometimes I make 50 CDs or 70 CDs. They give me the water on credit and then I sell and pay them back. We had a chance to speak to Mr. Osei Wusu, a highly respected driver in the community, and this is what he had to say. The hawkers get knocked down all the time. I buy duster from them, sometimes toughies. If they weren't here, I would have had to go far to get it. When they are here, it's good for me. In some ways, their presence here is good, and in other ways, it's not. It's good for business, but risky. I've been in MPT for about uh, almost nine years now. For, for, for Fiesta Area intersection, I mean, they are here. You can look at it. I mean, they are many. And they are many. They are very, very many. And sometimes you ask them, they are from, I mean, villages coming to Accra to look for jobs to do. And there is no job. So this is what they are, they are supposed to do. As for me, being an NGTV man, I would like maybe our top official to do something about, about it. it. Yeah, because accidents happen and they are involved. They are involved. So if our top men can do something about it, I believe that it will be good. How, how many accidents have you witnessed personally on the so, job? So, so many. So yeah. many. I've told you that I've been in this service. I've been in the service almost 10 years now, yeah. uh -huh. so I know what, it, what goes on, especially this intercession, Fiesta Royal intercession, a very, very dangerous intercession. And if you ask them, they will tell you the number of pockets that have been involved in an accident, that even some die. Yes. Shortly after I rent a space for a shop, the landlords will start trying to claim their property. Especially after they notice your business is doing well. You know our local landlords, they would always come for their land. Most of my friends here have containers to start their business, but nowhere to put it. The AMA too will not stop harassing us. It's not that we just want to risk our lives in the streets. It's just our life situation. That is why we are here. This week, I can't continue. You see, we are born, I will marry. I can't do this week. Two of us may die. I have to do some handwork. If I get some handwork, I will do it right now because this week, you know, you know, take you in here. Money day inside, you will get some three good job. I don't know if you say you can't find anything you can chop. You can find something you can put down down. I don't know tomorrow, but you see, if you chop, I don't believe how you need some. Personally, what kind of password do you find? They buy water a lot here. When people are in the traffic and we the water sellers have closed, we hear them calling for water. It means if we were here, they would buy because they are thirsty. And that is the value we bring. That's why we are begging the government not to sack us, because we help the people here. The street is, for me, it's an industry that needs studies. You understand? Ghana here, we only want to talk about doctor and blah, blah, blah. That's why sanitation is not working. Like, we're not, we're not studying deep into the genetics of any function. You understand? So, like, there's a lot happening here, but because people are not listening to... Like, if you don't come here and ask these questions, who's going to sit down and think about the street? They, they will say it's illegal, but the police is coming here and is buying from the street. The judges and the parliamentary, you get stuck in traffic, Ghana small, small road, and you don't have a street worker, yeah. you know, who's going to sell you something to take when you're on the, on the traffic? And let me advise you, because of the street workers, 
robbery is climbing down because all of us are here. Oh, you know, when the traffic goes, go to the Achimota place and see the forest there. Yeah. At this hour, there are thieves. Nobody is selling there. All you can see is thieves. They line up here. When you see your phone, you just snatch it. But here, if you came and steal, some of us will gang up and attack you. Yeah. You understand? So the street is not something that should be discouraged, but it should be learned and studied to back up the system. Despite the enormous economic benefits and employment opportunities of street vending or hawking, several bylaws have been made by some larger metropolitan assemblies against street hawking in Ghana, making it illegal. What do you think?